So for this, yeah. uh, for a little bit, I'm gonna just start doing these little uh, replay analysis thing uh, things, just so people have an understanding of the build I'm doing. And because I don't talk a lot during a lot of my games, uh, makes. Huh. Hold on. There we go. So. Oh yeah, so I have a problem real quick. Um, my my confinement wasn't used properly, so it shrunk my entire screen. So I'm like, uh. so instead, I'm just gonna go uh, one one gate expand with one gas geyser, and then uh, afterwards I get. So. As I search, so I'm gonna set that there and pop that down. And then wait to get a unit and then drop my server core. So for this, it's really just gonna be one gate, uh, one gate, one pylon, gas, uh, nexus. You can get your gas later if you want to get the nexus faster and then drop these, drop this and this about the same time. And then I just try to build up a defense, which is basically a couple of zealots, or at least one zealot, one stalker. Get that. Transfer about five to six probes. And then go out and see what kind of scout information I can get with my with the units I have. So which would be the stalker, the zealot, and the mothership core. Uh, if you're noticing these here, yeah, they've actually made these, they've told you that these are rocks and then it's like, oh, so a little bit, a little confusing at first, but either way, so I see that there's a bunker, I'm not going to even engage the bunker, it's not, uh, that was a kind of a strange move to pull your, all the SCVs off the line against the mothership core. Mothership Core does some damage, but um, its only real usefulness is at is uh, for a elongated period of time. So basically, when you attack, it's ba uh, the longer the core just sits there and just it kind of just whittles down your health. And, it, and if you don't really just deal with it, it could actually kill a bunch of units if you're not paying attention. So. Here we go with the four gate. I got four gateways, one robo, a couple of gas. Notification that there is a power outage uh, somewhere around me, but and so I am. I haven't really populated this gas yet. And I do not know why. So, but. It'll get populated uh, a little bit later. Oh, and then we'll see. Oh, there it is. So basically, uh, the reason I'm just kind of building up more sentries and more defense is the fact that right here I can see units kind of grazing by. So, oh. And I do have a whole pretty good vision of it. So I'm not. And then he drops me. So I'm like, oh, great. There's a couple of buildings here and there. And then he's gonna attack over here while I have a couple more units over here. Plus the uh, planetary nexus. So. So now I'm just gonna try to build up more of a defense. As I kinda sit here and wait. So, as we see right here, he's got. Right at the time. But there's the scan, and I'm gonna do a drop with. Oh, excuse me, the warp prism, which is also gonna tell me he took an expansion. See? Bye. So he takes an expand. He drops that just a little too late. He does have the Vikings out to deal with the. Uh, 
with my classes. And so now it's just like, oh boy. But I've already kind of committed to the classes. But now I'm gonna, now I'm going to get the Twilight Council. I got Double Forge sitting there. Uh, I should have put it here initially, but I didn't. And in a little bit, you'll see why. So I'm gonna take, try to take my third. Reasonable amount, reasonable way, as best I can. So I'm just gonna uh, need a third. So I use, I make my wall. Speed up just a little bit. I'm making another. I'm gonna start making immortals. So he does one attack and two attacks, which a physical was to take out my uh, nexus. Um, good for him. I try to take him out with probes and not the greatest of ideas. I am going to lose a lot of buildings. So I have definitely lost at least almost twice as much as he has. I'm not sure what the point of uh, losing his marines is. Because we are 1 1. So I'm not really sure what the reason for it to lose them. To take out a couple of buildings. And then he just loses all of them. So, not really a great idea to do that. So. So now I move my forces over here. I'm also low on income. But I do have now Colossus, High Templar, Sentries. So that's what I was going to tell you. Okay, he's got that place there. My immortal went out with my uh, to where that was rallied. I do see this little uh, giant ball. And we look at the army supply tab real quick. He is definitely uh, no. We actually might be s almost even. I say almost in the fact that what, no, he's at twelve hundred. So yeah, almost even. But he's actually max. So. Two scans. So on. So there goes the EMPs. Storms. He's trying to split. And then I regained some. A little bit of an advantage. And then I just gotta move back. That's all. Yeah, just to take out his army, I was. I'd rather try not to engage the planetary. Not at the moment. So. And now I'm kind of getting broke. As we can see, I'm have no. I only have one mining base. And I decided to swing my probes back over here. So that tells me this has barely landed. So he's barely taking that. And the reason I take in this space is because my army's sitting right here. So I can move back and forth pretty kind of easily, so it's not going to be a big deal. So now I'm trying to get all my probes. As soon as I get this efficiently mining, I'm not even mining gas. Got no reason to right now. I don't even know what that nuke is. Where's that nuke? Oh, that's gonna kill all my probes. It's okay, he's got one nuke against... So, if we... I was wondering where that nuke was, but by now it's like, I don't really care. <laughs> so, we're gonna... Zoom it out just a bit. 
Does control W still do anything? Takes off the minimap. Neat. So. Oh. So here we go. That's a micro too heavy on that last engager. I think he's more worried about the nuke that hit. And he doesn't have much of a not uh, as big an infrastructure as I thought he would have. Pretend he's only on mining off one. Probably one and a half bases by now. Uh, compared to my <laughs> one base but by then it was just like I have my army I need and he's getting ghosts he's not making thick um, I'm not sure if he if he went uh, marauder heavy at any given time and I don't even think I even saw too much stem so Anyways, basically this is just, you know, real quick fast expand. Uh, try to harass as early as possible. So if you're going to do this, you know, get this and start doing small drops here and there while you build up an army here. And then try to take another base as soon as you can. So basically I'm just trying to do as much damage as I human as much damage as human possible. And this is where he, the engagement gets pretty good for me. Go back just a little further. I want to see what the Indian Army supply was. Times by eight. Cause right now this battle has me way in the lead, or at least the in the army's supply. So I'm just trying to figure out what the in the army supply. Is. Alright, so is any army supply? I'm at 1100, he's at. Not 1100, 11,000, he's at. 10,000, so. And how many of those is just medevacs? 
So uh, eight medivacs. Hmm. So that's a lot of units. That's gonna be firing, and four Vikings. So he's got f air, which okay against what I have is not gonna help. So he's got four Vikings for this one Colossus. So. He's watching me run. He does stem. I just don't think he probably should have just played defensively. So, but uh, anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed and have a good day. Bye.